our 2020 Yamaha MT-03. Warning, loud exhaust notes next. I love this machine. The manual transmission is 373 pounds. It handles like a dream. It's amazing, agile, wonderful. This is a 2020 model year Yamaha MT-03. It's a 321cc liquid-cooled four-stroke fuel-injected offset twin. That's the motor right here. This is the transmission shifter. It's a six-speed sequential. I wrapped the dual exhaust pipes here in a ceramic and then painted it black. That helps to preheat the catalytic converter right here. That's the oxygen sensor that measures the exhaust gas temperature by a voltage difference. Sending the cable up here. We can see the electric starter motor right there. This is the cylinder head. Those plastic knobs in there are the spark plug leads. If we follow the wires, there's an ignition coil. That knob at the bottom there is the bottom of the gas tank where it gets fuel. If we come around, we see here's the water pump. That pumps engine coolant. There's a thermostat and then it opens or closes to send hot engine coolant into this radiator. And then the chilled coolant comes from the other side of the radiator back down and re-enters the block over here. We can see there's an evaporative canister for fuel vapor recovery. It's plumbed in here real weird into the intake and for the exhaust. It's got all kinds of fancy emissions control equipment. Um, down at the bottom, you can see the oil filter in there, the Yamaha oil filter. And the right here, it's to drain the old oil out. We follow along this is the swing arm so this is the engine's power output is through a gear up front connected to this chain inside this housing and then the chain exerts tension on the sprocket on the rear axle this is how you adjust the tension of the chain you check it by going like this the engine power is therefore transferred to the rear wheel. The chain gear in here is connected to the transmission so it can change gears one through six. The smaller numbers for starting out, six gears really for cruising on the highway. If we follow this around, this checkered wheel here is for ABS. These are solid drilled brake discs. This is a hydraulic brake caliper with brake pads that squeeze the disc to slow. That's the rear brake. It doesn't get used very much. This is the um, very lightweight 18 pound exhaust pound, uh, muffler combo. So they, they built a giant catalytic converter and then short pipe off to the side here. It sounds fantastic. Then this is to articulate the rear brake and this is where the brake fluid is for the rear one. And you can see the clever bit inside here for the attenuation. So when this lever gets pressed down by your foot, it presses up on that connector, which shoves the cylinder up here, displacing hydraulic fluid, which goes into that line and then ends up going all the way back here to the caliper where it forces the cylinders inside to press the calipers okay so that's a hydraulic brake it has a similar configuration on the front axle so here's the front hydraulic brake caliper and the hydraulic line and then the abs and the abs sensor and the sensor wire and these are routed up cleverly into this distribution block because the abs modulator unit has to pulse the brakes um, so that's what this accumulating header is here and then this is the horn and this is called a projector style led headlamp and you can see it's got a finned aluminum housing in there to dissipate heat from the led and then it has um 
these other lights, these LED lights here, and LED-based turn signals. Okay, so this is called the triple clamp, and this has an upright seating geometry that sends the handlebars up, so it's more comfortable to sit on. You're not um, doing a push-up like you would on a sport bike, it's called a touring bike, you can sit up. This is the entry level of the MT, or Master of Torque series. Master of Torque are great commuter bikes. I did a tail delete on here, where I got rid of the big dorky whale tail plastic thing, and then um, kind of did a custom low brow uh, reuse of the original LED turn signals. This has a, a really tiny trunk. It's kind of annoying to get in and out, so we'll just leave it alone. If you follow along over here, this is the front brake hydraulic setup. So when you squeeze the right handle, the right handlebar for your right hand, when you squeeze, it has a fulcrum right here. And what's happening is you're actually depressing this hydraulic cylinder right there. So, and there's a, um, a, a limit switch right here, an electronic limit switch. That's what that click noise is. Okay, and this is the cylinder that holds the brake fluid, and that's cleverly mounted with a bar clamp up top here, and there's a sight glass for the brake fluid as well. The LCD cluster is really easy to read at a glance. It's black and white, sunlight readable. Due to a technical problem with my iPhone 14 having a low battery during filming, um, I'm just reusing this section in ultra slow motion to capture the audio. So if you're wondering why it looks weird, that's what's going on. You're going to hear me talk a lot more about the MT-03. Thanks for your understanding. Enjoy the ultra slow footage of opening the gas cap and looking inside. I installed this little cowling. What it does is it redirects air over you when you're riding, so you get less buffeting or get, you don't get shoved around by the wind as much. That pretty much rounds it out. We can see the front brake gets a lot more use. It's also bigger. That's typical on motorcycles. This is um, the air intake system actually has these cowling ducts. And if you see back here, in here, it shoves air towards the top of the engine. There. Same thing on this side. It's another cowling duct that terminates into this intake right here. So when you're going freeway speed, it's shoving a, a little tiny bit, maybe a PSI or so of boost air pressure uh, into the intake, which I, I struggle to show it to you because of the compact design, but they're they're in here, right there. So that that is the one air intake right there, and the other one's the one further down there. So it's a two cylinder, so there's two intake and two exhaust, so it's opposite. So fresh air and fuel comes in on this side, goes through the engine, four strokes, intake, compression, expansion, and exhaust, and then is blown out during the exhaust step into the exhaust system. That's how all gasoline engines typically work. And um, that rounds out the technical aspects of it. Um, there is a sight glass, if I tilted it up, you could see the oil level and, and you can tell if it's dirty or not. I change the oil in this thing more often than recommended just to keep clean oil since it uh, revs to 11,000 and I kind of occasionally pop it up there when I'm on the highway. Top speed is 112. In sixth gear at 35 miles per hour, it gets about 72 miles per gallon on a flat road. On small declinations, it can go to over 100. It can... Um, 
stay in fourth gear all day long and average about 53 miles per gallon. If um, you flog it like you stole it and just rev it to the moon all day long, it gives like 37. And um, just touring around at traffic speeds, it's going to get between like 48 and 57 miles per gallon on regular 87 octane gas or unleaded gasoline. I use ethanol free gas that I buy at the Grange exclusively in this machine. Um, I buy ethanol free gas because I don't want ethanol in my fueling systems because it's hygroscopic and not good for vehicles that sit. This one sits quite a bit because it's not a daily driver. In winter, for example, it's a cold ride. So it does respond to hypermiling or upshifting quickly and not accelerating hard. I mean, I can, I think the best, best fuel economy I've been able to get out of a tank is around 84 miles per gallon. Um, out of a two cylinder 321 cc engine, it makes about 40 horsepower and about 20 foot pounds of torque. Um, that's actually not bad. I mean, it accelerates like a car with 400 horsepower. So it's, you know, for $6,000 out the door with sales tax, it's a really good value. I'd suggest it's an exceptional value. All right, well, that's my MT-03 review um, after having it for three years. It's a beautiful machine. I absolutely love rolling on the uh, throttle, getting on an on-ramp on a freeway. It has the most beautiful exhaust note. It's not too loud, it's tasteful. It's obviously not an ultra high performance bike. It's more of a race engine from the R3 that's been tuned for commuting. And I can't think of a better value. Maybe the Honda CB500F, but this one's smaller and less expensive. So you can't go wrong. This is the closest thing to a Toyota motorcycle you can buy. Yamaha and Toyota work together all the time, especially on engines. And you're effectively riding a beefed up bicycle with an engine on a motorcycle. Well, that's all for this episode of the MT-03 Review. I'm your host and YouTuber, Aaron Kenneth Schwartz. Thanks for watching.